Hi everyone, it's Orshi and I would like to talk about breathing principles. So in Pilates we are having uh, principles and all the workout is based on those. Breathing is one of them and what you really need to remember is that in Pilates we are exhaling through gently open pursed lips. It's really different than the Ujjayi breathing in yoga when you are having the lips closed. Here we would like to have an optimal exchange of air. So for this reason the lips are gently open and you let the air go out. So you don't want the air escape too quick. You don't want either um, that you shallowly breathing. And what we are having a really important principle is that we breathe into the side of the thoracic cage, into the front lobes and into the back part of the uh, lungs also. So many times people are realizing that they are breathing shallow only to the upper part of their shoulders. There are people also lifting their shoulders during the breathing and this is provoking a lot of tension in their shoulders. So shallow breathing can cause you back pain and neck pain. For this it's really important that you convert your breath into a healthy three-dimensional breath that it goes here to the side, it goes to the front and it goes to the back and it goes also toward your abdomen. But we don't want so much abdominal breathing. Why? Because during the use of your core, when you breathe into your belly, you let it expand, you let it bulge, then the muscular contraction is complicated, right? If you are like breathing fully here, you cannot pull those muscles in, you cannot stabilize so well this abdominal corset. So these are already really important principles to remember. Breathing through your lips. Exhale when you are contracting a muscle, especially in the abdominal series. You will always exhale through pursed lips when your leg lowers, when you have the effort. So let's just check now a really simple exercise to see how you breathe. Place your hands in the leg. Take an inhale, grow tall, and with the exhale, flex forward. And now imagine someone hand is in your back and try breathing into here also. Have a few breaths there. And then stuck the spine up with the exhale. Really simple, but like I said, sometimes we don't deep, uh, we don't breathe three-dimensionally. So different people have different tendencies where to breathe. For example, if you would be rounding forward, probably you would you would breathe back but you would not breathe so much side and so much to the front. So what we want is that you realize what is your pattern and work on it and make it going to all the three direction. One more little exercise. You just lie down, place your hands to the side of the rib cage and let the air to go to the side of the rib cage. Inhaling to the side, exhale through pursed lips. And sometimes a few breaths here. Great. So 
by now you start to realize maybe what is your breathing pattern. But keep on message. Exhale through pursed lips and exhale in the effort, exhale in the flexion. And that might be enough for you right now and you will revisit this later on. Thanks a lot and see you in the principles or in the workout. Bye!